Happy Wednesday, fellow furniture dorks. This is Teresa. Thank you, Miss Sue, with Ray Foam Collection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we are blinded by Ooh. the light. I am Melissa Morrow with Rave Home Staging. And it is Wednesday. There's the rest of that bug. Okay, you know what? Hang on. I've got a situation. There, I'm good. It is Wednesday. It is Thrift Haul Wednesday. We are going to go through some things that, again, these have been thrifted items that we've just not gotten around to getting zhuzhed up in today's today. Pieces. I did get those are over these the weekend. Oh, okay. Yep, I got yeah. those over the weekend. I don't actually remember oh, yeah. this one. Bug parts. There's all, they're like all Yeah, over. we apparently have bug parts because Teresa started cleaning, as as always happens before we get on, and Ugh. apparently there was a partial bug in. It, it, and it wasn't the end that you want. Yeah. Yeah. Although the other end usually looks yeah, into your soul. I don't really think there's any end you want to Thank you, Miss Lou. She's our savior. Anyway, so yes, we are doing some thrift overhauls and what you got going on yep. over there. And so um, we got these, actually, I think we've had them since like July. We have. Seriously on the shelves. Just like we have with them since like, July. Like a horde of pumpkins. Because we did some patina pumpkins was we did some style. patina pumpkins. And we've had this little, this little, I don't know, whatever you call a group of pumpkins. A plethora of pumpkins. Yeah, a bunch of different pumpkins um, sitting in the back. And you'd think we could just tag them and put them on the floor. But no, no. Not in this place. Not no, in this place. No. So they've been sitting, they were thrifted. Um, I think like these were each like 50 cents. Mm. And these were like $1.99 or something like that. And they're perfectly fine, lovely pumpkins. They are actually. Um, these were these are these were from like Michaels or something. Paper mache. These, at one point, this one was ten ninety nine, which is like a lot. That is a lot for a paper mache. And this pumpkin. one was six ninety nine at some point, okay. which is also still high. A lot. So I am just gonna be painting these. I have Dixie Belle out. I have fluff, bloop, um, and Dixie Belle blue, and then some wood beam by Bungalow Forty Seven to do these stems. Okay. And I'm just going to be batch painting out um, a bunch of these. And then I also have a rolling um, oh. recent and another recent um, thrift thing. Okay. And so I'm just going to paint the handles and then we'll sand up and, and um, use some hemp oil or something on the, the pin itself, which food is safe. food safe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And there's some pretty little containers over here that Melissa thrifted. I just yanked the price tags off of these, but I think this was like $2.99. These are both meta metal for sure yeah and another one this is pretty heavy and then these two funky doodle candlestick holders with the tassels i think you guys have seen these before so we're gonna judge these up yeah we got well. those like two weeks ago uh -huh. i think so i think at the last thrift haul video they were new yeah and we didn't we were we were gonna paint them but we just didn't get to it um and i'm gonna be using dixieville also stormy seas just a casually neutral nice gray um again just gonna be batch painting these things i'll do a little wet distress and pull some stuff through but this is again like we always say it's a nice way to just done all in one shot and get them on the floor um what nothing <laughs> i'm i'm in case you're wondering what's happening because i haven't painted anything and i already have the heat gun out yeah i'm curious too. so that work? if you heat up the tags I'm it listening. loosens the glue and you can actually get these stupid tags off which are otherwise which are nightmare. otherwise yeah so they cool off pretty quickly so you do have to be expedient I don't have much in the way of fingernails, but I it will. does, but it does make me either, <laughs> but it does make getting them off a lot That's easier. That's a great pro tip that I did not know. Yeah. Um, we do this at home when, when we sold linen and rust a few years ago, um, store in orange park here. Uh -huh. Um, we had to take all like off of my merchandise. I had to take all my linen and rust <laughs> tags off and re tag them with vendor tags. And that was, that was a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. What are you doing? I just turned What are you doing? I'm the brush. <laughs> I wasn't sure I didn't want to grab the same brush. Um, it was a lot, a lot of stuff. And we yeah, found sure. that the heat gun was brilliant for loosening the adhesive. Uh -huh. um, it just melts the adhesive that they're stuck with, and then you're able to peel them off. Well, that's It works cool. better with some tags than other tags, but it does really work with all tags. Right. I'm going to try that for sure, because I've had many things. I get at Goodwills and things that that freaking tag just will not come off. Yeah. You know, they just say things like loop off just don't tend to work so well. They just don't. Yeah. And then you get everything all like greasy. Yeah. And then you gotta clean the grease off. Yeah, it's just a whole process. So I just find this to be an easier method. So look, you learned something already. Right? 
Um, and as usual, we try always to use our Klingon brushes. So these are our S30s that we have that I, Melissa will be using. I'm using the Stallmaster French tip because I got a bunch of detail in here and it's just fun to poke and prod and get all the good stuff in here at one time. Yeah, so I was actually writing down a list um, in my office a little bit ago and I was trying to think of content. So I don't know if you guys saw that I posted a YouTube video this week. Um, yesterday, I guess. I'm just trying to make sure I have all the tags on everything mm -hmm. before I get started painting because I hate to find there's a tag after I've started painting. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I posted that, I posted a, a video of me painting a table doing the dry brush technique. And I, saw that. and I was thinking I really need to have more edited content and things that I wanted to have for edited content. Mm -hmm. Would you guys like to, one of the thoughts that I had was doing a video on like which brush to use for, for your project because okay. i feel like especially like heather is fairly new at furniture painting uh -huh. and i remember thanks <laughs> gonna sit over here i'm sorry melissa go ahead like, <laughs> just don't mind me i'm just, just making noise you know why should hilarious <laughs> um like i don't i might have been that same table actually the apron originally and it had all this detail work and i'm like why didn't you use a french tip for that uh -huh. and she's like oh a french what what oh, and it's true you, you know you also get to where you know before i started working here i was kind of like everybody else and i'd go to lowe's and get those little blue handled paint brushes and they were fine i like I a short handle yeah. I, I like them too and I, I frankly i still have them but there's different paint brushes for different projects and also like just not even trying to sell you these, but they clean themselves. So they'll last forever if you treat them properly. You can clean the hell out of a Worcester and still eventually that thing's gonna shred and get crappy and it's almost like a disposable anymore. It's these are crazy. fantastic. So, well, and then, you know, when you think about, like for, for us, we love to craft, which is fun. And there's a lot of people who will buy stuff who just like wanna do it for their own. Yes. For their own selves, right? Yes. But then there's other people who do this for a business right that buy stuff and i mean so it could be your sand it looks so pretty in that color i love it too it's really pretty uh -huh. in that color this i've never used this sticks about color um love it, love it, love it. and and so part of the question is like how much is your time worth that is 100 percent accurate like if i have to spend 20 minutes well and i'll tell you when when i used to own linen and rust and we do paint classes um i almost always had disposable brushes because when i looked uh -huh. at the cost of what I would pay the instructor to just clean brushes yeah. after the class. Yeah, for sure. Was extreme. I mean, just to clean brushes afterwards. You know, you got to pay somebody, you know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks uh -huh. an hour. There they are staying after. And then they got to, you know, they're going to spend two hours. You know, I, I might spend 30 bucks on just getting them to clean brushes uh -huh. um, or more. Which is a necessary evil. I mean, you got to do it. Yeah. And so a lot of times I was using disposables, which I hate because one, they don't paint nicely. Uh -uh. Get the little bristly oh things little come bristly off. things oh. everywhere. Oh, and, so then, and then the other part of that is that then like the product doesn't seem as good as it is. Right. That you're selling. Um, I don't like gray much. I love this color. Really pretty. It'll be gorgeous on a piece of furniture. Absolutely. And I've got 1,900 of them sitting <laughs> back there stacked like cards. So we'll go over that. I can see you just coming along with some furniture. Pieces. You know. I just finished chairs. How many chairs did they bring you today? I have lost count after like eight. I know there's ten on one set. Yeah. We have tables for these too, I imagine. Yes, we okay. do, of course. Alright, well there's Well, we're gonna actually be painting these tables. Oh that's right. That's right. Okay. Um, we. By we I mean her. She means me. <laughs> by we I mean her. Yeah, so we just <laughs> you want to talk about yeah all the rearranging and fun stuff yeah so we just got um <laughs> there was a corner behind here if you've been in the store sort of right before you go back into our office area there's sort of been a corner um over by the craft area that's had furniture piled there forever forever, forever. and well it's all gone now uh -huh piled somewhere else uh -huh. yeah it's in another spot but still i mean there was a big piece that got finished my big china cabinet uh -huh. finally got finished we're just waiting for some pegs so we could actually tag it and yes it's technically it's on the floor somewhere. it but is we're just waiting for the pegs for the shelves because those somehow got lost when they 
they were painting it. Somehow they got put into something or onto something. And put them someplace safe. Do. Uh -huh. So put them someplace safe. And then forgot where and that, then safe, forgot where that safe place was. I do that all the time, so it's yeah. called getting old. So we don't know where that safe place is. <laughs> And eventually, we will probably run across them and be like, oh, what are these from? Uh -huh. Oh, right. Remember that time way back, back in the 2000s in... that we were trying to make this Yeah, thing? so we have somebody coming on Tuesday, Tuesday to install our sign. Oh, we do? That's okay. I think that's what I, I, think that's what I saw. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so we got to paint the wall and get the staging wall and stuff ready, but uh -huh. our studio... Our full-time studio is getting getting ready to be set this Are we week. going with my idea of the green screen in the background? No, we're not going with your idea of the green screen. I like it still. I'm just saying. I would like to be on a surfboard while I'm painting stuff. I think it would be pretty awesome. But we could be on a cruise. Please. A wall painted that color. If you would like us to order a green screen, I could consider it that we could put <laughs> behind us. But I will not be painting a wall that color. Fine. Ooh. I would have to kill That's myself to have to sit there. So. <laughs> I'd be twitching. Oh my gosh. The whole episode. All right. What am I doing here? Two down. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, I turned these upside down to paint because I'm not painting the insides of these and I'm a neat nut. So I'm just trying to make it easier where the f doesn't get in and then look all cruddy. So I'm just painting. Well, you're no fun. Painting the portions that will be seen. All right. Oh, all right. It's early on. Got some paint on me. And I have some paint from like three days ago. Right there. And I didn't even put on an apron or anything today, but I'm staging you after this. Brave. Oh, okay. So I guess, you know, I'm going to be all hot and sweaty in the warehouse. So when well, I wore non-paint pants today and now they're well, paint pants. Now they're paint pants. Yeah. Which is okay because now all I'll have is paint clothes. <laughs> I won't need any other clothing. Yes, Teresa has decided. Do you want to tell them about your decision? Um, I would, you could tell them. I, I always like to hear you talk about stuff like this. <laughs> more articulate. Taking off, I'm taking off my tassels. Either you're taking off your tassels. Taking off my tassels. I'm going to set them here while I'm painting. Um, Teresa has decided that uh, we were hiring for the position. We were just getting ready to put out for a position of a full-time painter in the store. And decided that she wanted to fearlessly paint all day long. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. I um, love what I'm doing at the store. Absolutely love it. Obviously, we all love the store. But if I was being honest with myself, I felt like painting is kind of my, my gig. It's what I like. So, and I get to do it full time. Why not? And get paid for it. And get paid for it. Well, in a store that... You're going to be aching bones from squatting all over the place. I know. I, I thought of that too. But at least I won't be up and down stairs a lot. I won't be standing on cement, which kind of is the same thing. I'll be laying on the floor. It's all good. And and as her first assignment, she has like 40,000 chairs. Nine million chairs. The one thing that I cannot stand in. My very first assignment is painting this dresser white, which is also my least favorite color of mine to paint. But... It's okay because I'm technically painting. your first assignment was painting chairs black. Oh, that's true. I just finished those up. Yeah, painting chairs, painting six chairs black, and then a dresser white, and then and now and now a million. Do you want me to do those million? We'll talk after. We'll talk after class. Hey, you tell me before you start painting. I'll you might want to take that tag off of this. Is there a tag? Oh crap! I didn't check that, Sue. Thank you for your detail, Miss Sue. I've got one on this side too, actually. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna be doing that. There's yeah, some rearrangement those, those in the gray, store. Those gray chairs are all gonna be. Actually, I think all the chairs are going to be white. I was going to say white. I, you know, I could maybe do like the gray chairs this color, but all the white chairs are. Yeah. All the, all the, um, the, the wood. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those are priority to some of those cool furniture pieces back there? They are because we oh. really have no dining rooms here. All right. That's what I signed up for. And frankly, I love it. So I cannot complain one bit. All right, stop the only tag you saw, Miss Sue. You're good. On that one. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try not to paint the black of this and just have the gray because I think that would be a cool pop. We'll see how I do. I guess I can, I need a smaller hey. brush. I can always do. I was just going to say, I like to get a little detail brush around the edges here, which, you know what, I might start first that way so that I can paint in. Oh, let me see. So, yeah, lots of fun changes going on in the store. Upgrades, moving around. So, if you're if you're watching me paint pumpkins blue, which is probably less of a normal color for pumpkins. I think it's fine. If you're if you're not oh, if you're you not so in Florida, much. understand that in Florida, 
a blue pumpkin is a thing. It is a thing. It for is? sure. It is a thing. You see more of them than you do the orange. What does it mean? Coastal pumpkin. Kind of. Coastal pumpkin. We're, we're beachy is we're what it beachy. means. We're, huh. And that's beachy as in like <laughs> near the beach. Yes. Not just a funny accent of saying the other thing. The, yeah. Oh, I was almost going to say it. I guess I can't do that. I mean, we can. Karen, I mean, I guess we can. I've said worse. What, Miss Sue? Pumpkins for Karen? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pumpkins for Karen. Took me, a, took me a half minute there. <laughs> I was like, what did she do? Oh, right. Karen. Oh, right. <laughs> now I get it. Now I get it. And this may not seem particularly exciting to be watching us paint, but... You know, our goal on our our Wednesday thrift hauls is part, partially just to give you ideas uh -huh. on ways that you can repurpose. Like, if you don't, if 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 you love a nice like farmhouse home, uh -huh, like uh -huh. this is a great way just to go find inexpensive. Yeah, you can because you can actually go to the dollar store just gonna and get that. little pumpkins like this and paint them white. Yep. And they'll be a dollar, right? These are thrift, but you can find very similar pumpkins at the Dollar Tree. Honestly, you can, yep. And they're a dollar. And they look, I mean, that looks like you get in a high-end store, like Rave. I mean, they're just adorable. Yeah. What's on the end of that? Are those just, are those just a funky, I'm looking stones. at your little. Oh, it's just a weird stem. That's cool. Um, and so this is just about incorporating it. And if your house is like all, let's say um, shabby chic, mm -hmm. you know, you could paint these pink and mint green. Yeah, that'll be fun. You can put large Yellow. polka dots on them. Yeah, I mean, it can be, you know, it can be, it, you know, we're kind of trying to help you take away the fear of painting something of, like it really is just like slap some paint on it. Right, and it personalizes it to your taste too. You don't always have to just go with the flow. Because if you find something and you're like, oh man, I wish, but it, I wish it was a different color we can fix that. We kind of know some people that sell some paint that can help there. Yeah, we, we, we can tell you how to fix that. Yep. So sometimes sometimes that's all you need is just a little bit of paint on something. Yeah, and if you see somebody else do it because you're too afraid or you're not sure how it's going to look, now you know. I did laugh because I posted a picture of, so on Monday I did the Kraken. The little Kraken. Kraken. Um, I did the Kraken and I re put resin on it that night. I used the fusion, mm, it turned out the, so fusion cute. the fusion resin, and I kind of made it like a little bit dimensional by letting it dry a little bit and then going over it with a brush and creating almost like a texture to it. It looked rustic, to which it. I loved. Yeah, I really love that. And, um, and I also went over it with some. In, um, some antiquing glaze so that oh. it warmed it up to give it yeah. a little more rustic. I wondered what that extra little vibe was. Yeah, I'd give it some antiquing glaze once it was all nice and dry. And then, because um, I didn't like the blonde wood underneath it, normally uh -huh. I would like a dark wood so you'd stain it or something for. Yeah, so you could pull that dark through, but I was not painting blue. What were you? Oh, oh. <laughs> um, and so. I think it's funny because that night I also posted on our page that it's really not a very good idea oh. to put resin in your hair. Mm -hmm. No. And tell us, tell us um, how you know that, Melissa. Yeah. Um, what, what happened? I didn't pull my hair up when I was resining, mm -hmm. and I was leaning over the board, and then next thing you know, I ran my fingers through my hair and it was like my hair's all in a giant clump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do that on the daily. It's paint, yeah, but, but resin, it's not resin. Yeah, yeah, but resin and paint are different. Special kind of clump. Primer is kind of Primer, Primer is no joke either. It's no joke either, but it's still not resin. Just did that right before we went on. <laughs> I had to um, brush out the old hair. And I thought it was hilarious that um, Robin Robbins, is that right? Mm -hmm, that's, yep. Yeah. That she, 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 oh, her, she quoted us. She did. She commented back. That's why I was bringing it up. She commented back, will you make mistakes so we don't have to? <laughs> right. It's like, oh, you're watching. It's like, you're listening to us. That was so funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> I got a big kick out of that. Yeah, that was pretty funny. No, yeah, it's funny. Look at me. I'm too pissed on it here. I'm, I'm doing it. Double duty. Ambidextrous painting. You know? It's one thing I actually do find I can do ambidextrous. 
I am. Almost nothing else. I but can barely do anything with one hand, let alone with the other. She could probably paint with your eyes closed. I don't know. I, mean, I guess I could. Anybody could. I don't know how it would look. Yeah. <laughs> That's the question, right? Right? We can paint with our eyes closed. Sure. I could do a lot of stuff like, you know, weird like that, but what's the end result going to be? I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to know. Alright, I don't mind being so meticulous with these today, but I just feel like... I actually have some pumpkins in my house that are like mint chip green. Ooh. And then they've got gold, uh, a nice thin layer of metallic gold on the top of them, sort of like it's drizzling down them. Nice. Like somebody poured metallic gold paint on them and let it drizzle down the top of it. Those totally sound like a Melissa pumpkin to me. And I keep them on all year round. Do you? I love them. That's fun. And because they're mint chip green, I, I, with your... I, I feel like that they're not they don't scream fall. They don't. They don't. They don't look seasonal necessarily. Right. It just feels country to me. That's pretty fun. But then I also literally still have my garland up from last year. You do. <laughs> I have lights in my house. White lights. Oh, this is fun. I'm kind of doing this on purpose now. You crinkling it up a little bit. You know the heat gun yeah. sometimes makes things bubble. Well, this is a plastic pumpkin. Make it's it kind of making it lumpy. But I love those pumpkins that are lumpy. Yeah, because they're just irregular. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like they're like the gourds get, you know, yeah. just all the bumpy lumpy. You get all the bumpy lumpies on them, and I really like that look in general. Look at that. You did it completely by accidentally on purpose. I did it on accident, and then I continued it on purpose because <laughs> I like it so much. I was like, crap, I didn't, oh yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Let's do more of it. Yeah, let's do more. Let's do more. Because more is more. More is, more is, I was going to say more is better, but it depends on what's more. Yeah, more is more. It's not always better. It's definitely more, though. It's definitely more. More is more. That is true. That one's hard to, that one's hard to argue. All right. Oh, I'm digging this gray. Just a nice, classy looking gray. I suddenly, I don't know what's come overcoming me here. I'm, I'm suddenly feeling the need, the desire to add transfers to these. Oh. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah, I just turned that word into a three syllable. I did it. Shocker. Shocker. What about, what about your little uh, uh, molds? Your yeah. molds oh, you should show. Nice. You want to grab the pumpkin that I did last year? And show them what I did with that. I don't want to add mold. I'm not feeling that. Not feeling I'm not feeling, feeling the mold, but that would have been a good idea. But I don't know. I don't know if I'll add them. I just, I feel the... Kind of like the blue chicken with the little flower butt. Yeah. You know? Makes it kind of cute. Although he's still here and I don't know why. Chicken needs a home. What's up with that? That was adorable. Does somebody want a wayward chicken? I don't know. He's so cute. He's got flowers on his butt. Oh my gosh. It posted the ad last night. And Natalie commented because all the waxing chickens are out. Oh. <laughs> she commented. She's like, who let all the chickens out? Boo, 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 boo. Oh my gosh. She's a hoot. Yeah. Right, Natalie got a new baby this week. I know. Oh my gosh. I think we talked about it already, but just we're so excited for her. So fantastic. Such wonderful news. We're just so excited for her. Yes. I'm sure she's the Who doesn't best love a new budding family? Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Okay. She's so, much fun. so you, why don't you show it to the thing? To the thing up there. Meanwhile, I'm still Got being the little, the little molds. Yep, that was just a, what is that? A um, little that building like a in there? Pumpkin. Okay. I got it at 50% off or 40% off or whatever their coupons are. It's really neat. Our door is binging like crazy down there. What's yeah, happening? I don't know. Good stuff, sounds like. Dixie Bell is in. Ah, All Dixie right. Bell. I told you it was coming in today. I was going to say, set me aside some cotton. Oh, and you know what else I want? Those cute little pieces of jewelry that came in yesterday from wherever we got those. The little paintbrush. I knew you'd like that. The green one. Or the turquoise one. That's 
frames me. I knew you'd like that one. Yep, it's already sold. Just tell me the price and I'll pay it. <laughs> yeah, I figured that those were going to be really cute. Yeah. Little paint brushes that were definitely the... They're adorable. They're just adorable, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was questioning if the staff would all have those or if they'd ever make it to the sales floor. Well, I know that one's not making it anywhere past my head. I'm just waiting on a price tag. <laughs> well, they simple. are actually on ravehomecollection.com. Are they? Well, you're quick. Well, then I will have to take, check that out. Because I would like the paintbrush guy and I will wear him home today. I don't know why I just called it a him, but... Yeah, I'm taking this little artist brush. <laughs> I, I like the artist brushes. It's fun to paint with those things. It is. It's, it, you, you just, it's kind of self-satisfying to watch it just be nice and even. And, and not and just slopping. On. Yeah. Not just slopping some paint on, but actually like feel like you're like, you're being careful yeah, and artistic. Which is rare for me, but there's parts of this that I don't want painted gray. And the top is one of them. So guys, it's halfway through the week. What y'all doing? What's happening for the weekend? You know what I'm gonna ask you. And Any good, good dumpster dive plans you wanna tell us about? Thrift hauls. Thrift hauls. Estate sales. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just was in the mood for ice cream. cream. I hate ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. I, I, <laughs> oh no. Now we got Sue thinking about ice cream. Oh, and the other Natalie messaged us the other day too and said that She's having issues with her internet, so she can only watch our replay. She can't watch our lives. Aw. The internet, man, I'm telling you. We're, we're the internet right now is literally the bane of our existence. It is jacked up. I got to do payroll and stuff today, and I cannot get on, which means yeah. I'm probably going to have to do that at home. Ugh, I can't get on there, too. I thought she was going to say, which means they're probably not going to get paid this week. <laughs> worry about it next week. I wish I could go that way. I know. I love the lumps in this pumpkin. When it's done, I'll show you guys. Super cute. They're so cute. Look oh, at them. It looks like a gourd, like a real gourd. I love They're that. They're so cute. So cute. We are easily amused around here, people. It doesn't take much. It doesn't. A creative mind is an easily amused mind. And if you haven't had enough of me live today, I'll be going live again later on Rave Home Staging as I do my walkthrough. Awesome. Um, I'll probably do my walkthrough and then go live because I like to do live and then after I'm done staging take you through and show you the house after it's been staged so you can see kind of nice. what we do. So on a scale, we're well not even on a scale, what do you prefer? Do you prefer staging creativity wise or do you prefer I mean, I think that they're. Things? I mean I think that you know they're both really fun. Right now, um, you digging I'm, I'm, more, you think? I'm getting old, and, and 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 staging is a very labor-intensive job. Right, it can be. That's for sure. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's not for the young, but you can certainly. I mean, you can certainly do it. I can do it. You know? Yeah. But um, right now, if I had to choose between painting a dozen chairs white. Or staging, well, that would be a tough choice. Well, that would be a tough choice. I was choice. just going to say, she's really <laughs> trying to make these chairs seem like I'm super excited. Girl, I ain't super excited about painting a dang chairs. Okay, that, that you know, if I would just say painting a dresser, I'd paint the dresser. But if painting, choice between staging and painting a dozen chairs white. But you know what? I do like a crisp white, a little distress. Oh, no, they're going to be gorgeous. The process getting them there, it's like, there's some white. There's some more white. One more coat of white. Don't forget the white primer underneath. I just did one and then one coat of regular paint. Oh, I might have to do I'm, it. I'm learning in my own I know. I might have to throw a coat of primer on top of that coat of paint and then do more white. Yeah, we usually we find when you try to take a shortcut, it's the long way around. Yeah. And I don't, I have not typically that. used primer. Like pieces that I get anyway for myself to paint, I don't typically need primer. But when you're painting white, especially over a little darker wood, you need to burn that crap. And that one kind of had a, a pretty decent sheen on it. Yeah. Which is why I used the Wise Owl. I debated on that or the Slick Stick. And I think my brain just went Wise Owl. So the paint's sticking. But yeah, I feel like I probably... I mean, I don't think there was anything wrong with the Wise Owl. Yeah. Because it's sticking. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, there's no problem with the adherence. I think just... Uh, I can put primer over top of the paint. And then yeah, 100%. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, the it just is easier if you just do two coats when you're dealing with that. Yeah. I think that's one. I mean, that's no. I, you know, I everything is personal preference. Right. Right. But, oh, look at all that Dixie Bell. Woo! Dixie Bell for days. What? I don't think this is Dixie Bell. That's something interesting. Warehouse. Ooh, it's like Christmas. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's our Shopify stuff. We're moving to Shopify this weekend. Oh. Now we want to know what's in the box. Now we're staring. Let's shop the box. All right. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. The girls are like, yay. Yay, it's shop time. We get to learn something new. Yay, so we sad. all love learning new things. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes newer is better. Well, sometimes. It's, it can't be worse than the current POS, which is a POS. Which is a POS. It is a it's true. The says it all, it's cursed. <laughs> right? They should just change that. Of course, anything is a POS, obviously. But. And it may say gift logic. I ain't no logic in but that. There ain't no logic in that. Uh -huh. nope. It is wholly the most illogical system I've seen. Yeah. And that's with somebody who had Traxia for three years. Yeah. Yeah, just when you think you can't get any worse, don't ever think that. God, I was considering going back to Traxia um, over, over this. Well, over this, yeah. And, and, and we complain about, we should research other companies. Lily, research other companies. And I was like, Traxia, totally Traxia this time. I was like, at least I understand that dysfunction. Right. At least, well, right. At least the vendors should get paid properly. Yeah. Whereas this one... This gift logic system we've had. It'll pay whatever vendor it wants. It'll pay whatever yes. vendor it wants. It doesn't matter what was on the tag. It doesn't matter what was in the system. And whatever amount it wants. Yeah. And we had one vendor was saying a sign sold for like 29 bucks. 29 bucks and credited her account like almost 3000 mm -hmm. Yeah. $3,000. Your, your split is $2,300 on your $30 sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll pay some. Um, yeah. The sales right there, boy. Right? That messes with my, my accounting a bit. Yeah. How are your pumpkins coming over there? Oh, my pumpkins I love are. That. Is that the Dixie Bell blue? Um, yes, it is. I like it. I did accidentally hit it with brown. That's nice. Okay. I'll do that. That's nice and vibrant. So, have you decided if you're going to put uh, transfers on these? I'm probably not, although I really want to. But I'm probably not. What are you gonna do? Although I really want to. Maybe if I just like added some leaves. Could you do that? Or some have leaves coming down off of the. Ooh, words are always cool. Just some little. Oh, just some little zhuzh. Just some little zhuzh. Little 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 Who doesn't need some little zhuzh? I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. I'm still base painting. I'm just gonna keep base painting for the moment. Just keep painting. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> now, see if I had the choice to paint pumpkins all day or stage, I'd be painting pumpkins. I'd be painting pumpkins. Yeah, I can see that. And actually, it's not the staging part at Just all. The physical portion. It's of it's really away. it's really at this point that the warehouse doesn't have AC. <sighs> and no, thank you. And as my, as my wonderful stagers will tell you, you're gonna go in there and you are gonna sweat your butt off. Yeah. And let me tell you, if my butt actually came off, by doing that, I would be, that would be fine. I'd be there all the time. You would stay there a little longer. I'd be there all the time. But it doesn't. It's, ugh. Girls, there are places that you shouldn't be sweating. <sighs> and yeah. you just end up with sweat. And it's Florida. Florida always gets super hot. But the temperature's been nice lately. The last couple of days, it's kind of down. And I have to take my glasses Beautiful. off because then I, I can't know. see. I'm not used to seeing like a fall weather here. I know. Florida. I'm it's digging just it. Been gorgeous. I don't jinx it. Who was it that I saw earlier today? Somebody posted, one of my friends posted on Facebook was um, normal weather, 95. Um, temperature changes to 87. Everybody else is like, Crickets, you know, nothing. Right. Floridians, they're like, pumpkin spice, fall <laughs> sweaters. <laughs> For three degrees difference. It's about complete fact right there. All I need 
any of that little chill in the in the early morning or in the evening, and I'm a happy camper. That's just the best. It reduces like the little gnats and bugs and stuff. You can get outside and not feel like you're suffocating. It's wonderful. I'm hoping we get a good freeze this year and yes. off some of them bugs. I'm I'm rooting for snow. Oh yeah, we didn't have a good freeze <laughs> last year where snow. they were right where it killed everything off. Yeah. Yeah, weather's been weird lately too. Just 2020 in general's been weird. Right down to the weather. I'm so over it. I know. It's craziness. Alright. I think the powers that be have hit a reset button and we're just experiencing it. Could very well be. I'm starting to think that we really are on the show Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> or a or a Sims game or something. That's what Lily always talks about, like, what if this is really just a Sims game? Jeez. I had that thought the other day. Oh my gosh, my head would explode. Like, what if we're just a... That's why random things, you know, like when... When I used to play Sims and you'd get really... Hey, Sue, I have a little battery on. Can you... Oh, isn't that a shocker? Shocker. When I used to um, play Sims um, on the Nintendo... Or... Did you see what I just did? Yep. <clears throat> I did. You know what would help you? You know what would calm you a down? Drink. I think if you painted An alcoholic beverage, twelve chairs white, it might zen you. Let's try that. Would you like to? Um, I have to stage this afternoon. Crap. If you want to stage, if you want, if you want to stage <laughs> you my house. That? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to stage my house. <laughs> See, mm -hmm. worth a try. But <laughs> no. That's just gonna add extra work for you when you have to go back to the fix it At all. least you'll still have the the AC. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a plus. That is a plus. Yeah. So for those of you who missed what I did, I decided I was gonna put another. I was gonna touch up some of my little issues that I had here so on my issues. pumpkin, that I'd accidentally touched my pumpkin with my brown, and I decided to pick it up by the stem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I just painted. Yep. How we end up wearing most of the paint. And so what did I do? I ended up with brown paint all over my fingertips. But it is a pretty brown. You don't have to be smart to do this job. No. But it would help. And literally you do sometimes get in a zone where you're not even thinking. You're just painting. Common sense is not required. Alright, do you want me to plug in power then? Yes, please. It may be an asset. But it's clearly not required. Yeah, definitely not required. All right, people, and I am it. sorry about this. Sue's so gonna make it wait. Make you all seasick for a moment, because otherwise we, you're gonna lose you're us. You're gonna lose us. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. All right, how are we looking? Isn't there a song, something about that? Um, I feel like I feel like I want to break into song, but I can't get the um, words. I don't know that I recall a song. What do y'all think of this color, this gray? Just a nice neutral, classy gray. I'm gonna go for round two on my. Yeah, it's definitely blue gray. Yeah, for sure. You can definitely see yeah, the blue tones in it. That's really pretty. Yeah. And I still got my tassels on. Don't let me forget because I'll probably dip these in paint. Tassels. My little tassels. You gonna gonna give them to Heather again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Heather, wear them around for like days. Right. Uh -huh. She probably will. I am off tomorrow, and you know what tomorrow is? My puppy's one-year-old birthday. Oh, let's see. What did you? Oh, hey, nobody likes a copy hat. Are you going to take him to the nice park? Guy. We are going to take him to the park. I already bought him a little presents. Hope he's not watching. So, well, you didn't tell what the presents were. No, I didn't tell what the presents were. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make party hats, and he won't wear them. And then I'll try and get a picture, and that'll be it. <laughs> Gonna get a little birthday cake. I need to do something like that. I haven't done that yet. I don't know like what to- They got some wonderful little puppy bakeries around there. I need to look up into something, just go and pick something up. Cause he definitely needs a birthday cake. Stephen Francis Murphy, he won. Uh, I had a contractor to my house yesterday talking about moving some walls. Oh. Moving some walls? Serious changes. Oh, Taking wow. down some walls. Knocking them down. Wow, that is a big thing. He told me I could probably almost knock down every wall on my house and my roof would stay up and that was good. We were very concerned. Well, what's your initially that my the, the main beam that I want to take out was 
structural. And he went up in the attic and looked at the rafters and he says, you know, I don't think it is. I think that, uh, I, I think that the way this is built, he says, I'm gonna go see if I can access the plans. He says, I think the way this is built, um, that my outer walls are supporting my roof. Really? That I don't have no any support. No necessarily structural. Um, just the way that, the way it's made. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. He said, that'll save me at least $10,000 on my remodel. That's a massive plus. And who doesn't like saving at least $10,000? Shoot. That's, um, that's not a bad deal. Now to find out how much the rest is going to be. Oh, uh, yeah. So how much you're actually saving. But when that happens, that will be sure to be a video series. Because be that's going to be... I think that makes it tax deductible. I was just going to say if it's for work. I think that might be... This is why you should start a YouTube channel so that you can remodel your home and write it off. And write it off. Look at all your pretty pots. I know I like them. I like what them are too. you going to do with them? They're actually super. Look at that one with all the little wrinklies. This one? Through. Yeah, I like that one. It's very cute. It's very, very cute. cute. Um, I don't. Huh. No. Alright, there's one. Second coat. <laughs> decision. I know. I think I'm just gonna put a satin varnish on. Oh, that's one thing I didn't grab. Sue, so would you grab me a satin varnish? No. That's one thing. I did not. And I guess I'm gonna need a cl another clear brush too. For the satin varnish, do you want a regular? You want one of these, or you just want a? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, give me that one right there. This? No, 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 this. that one. Yeah. Probably is it on the top shelf? Yep. yep. Okay. That's right there. Where it belongs. Where it belongs. She's scolding. She's mm. scolding you me. Need something before that too. I might need more than that. I might need to open another big one. I think there's actually a, I think it's actually a high performance satin from General Finishes on the bottom shelf. Which we sell here in the store and also yes. on ravehomecollection.com. Wineshell is usually what I use for all my tabletops. Yeah, it's John great. was asking me, he was we were, we were watching the video last night because he hadn't seen it. And he was asking me which I like better, the general finishes or the Wineshell. I like them both a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I couldn't necessarily tell you why I prefer Wineshell, mm -hmm. um, but I do really like it. I feel like it's super friendly. performance gloss? Yeah. Ooh, she's going glossy. It's glossy. It's and shiny. Glossy. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Which you don't do a lot with I that. do never shiny. Uh -uh. None of us really do. I think we're all, well, I don't know if we're all. I think Anna made like a little shot. Well, I don't know. We don't really bring. I think we're all kind of. I don't even know why this is open, to be honest. It's half used. I'm trying to think of what we painted that What's we would have glossed. Yeah, we're not open. Uh, you can't. I think your mom's your mom. Yeah, I don't even know what we would have lost, to be honest. Especially with that much gone. Like, where half of it's gone, yeah. Like, I have no idea. Yeah. It's rare that it would ever have been a piece of furniture. So, I don't know if you noticed, but you can gently turn your your um, finishing coat upside down, or you can roll it, but you should never shake it. Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Why is that? Um, it puts bubbles in your top coat. And when it gets all bubbly, it um, those bubbles can leave bubbles on your finish. Right. Oh, can I make bubbles on there? A little. Do and stay down. down. That's what I'm saying. It's okay, Miss Sue. It's I'll just get it. it's just water. I just whoa, whoa, whoa. decided to. <laughs> oh, I just snorted too. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Oh gosh. Speaking of, I don't know why this reminded me. Have you seen? the virtual table read i you know it's funny because you said good times and i was thinking did and you I, think of that and, movie? and i thought i know i could have never seen that movie oh what uh, you Best and i talk about High? this what? all the time Honestly. i was not old enough to watch it when it came out me either but my mother would not let me i was not allowed to watch an r-rated movie until i was 17. what time has passed and i've never had the desire to see it since then frankly the movie 
is not, I mean, it's just like standard dork, teenage dumb dork, yeah. comedy. It's, it's com the, that's teenage it. Movie. Is I was no longer a teenager. and But to see the table read, I guess they did, Dane Cook hosted one for charity. So Sean Penn, who played Jess Spicoli in the original one, was in the table read, but he didn't play Spicoli. Anyway, they had all these famous people doing the read for that, just as a, like I said, just for charity. They freaking had Shia LaBeouf as Jeff Spicoli. <laughs> the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. Like, he he did not, he memorized it. He didn't read off of it. He actually memorized it. I he's love a nut Shia job. LaBeouf. Me too. He's so versatile. He's and such I a good actor. I know that he gets a bad rap because of some personal issues. Yeah. You know what? But he, he is, he a is genuine, really talented. In my genuinely. Yep, I agree 100%. And this was some funny stuff, let me just tell you. Like, I, that's not, it's just not my kind of humor. I, yeah. Like, I'm not... Yeah, and again, it was just a normal, like, you know, teenage whatever. Like potty teenage humor. I but, don't. Yeah. And I don't think I did as a teenager either, to be honest. Um, just seeing this. I'm very much a more serious person than that for those right. who don't know me. Um... This was worth the watch. I, I didn't watch all of it, but just parts. If you just, of course, you don't have the original character to compare it to. He yeah. is a complete stoner. This Jeff Spicoli, just a complete. Um. Like, okay, so here's like why. Surfer. So here's why you should. What are you doing over there? You should um huh. not. You should make sure one that your pieces are completely dry before you move on, or you should not use the same top coat. Because now I'm making my pumpkin slightly blue. I it's did offer funny. to get you something to pour it into. Yeah, but it's I'm because it's not because of this. It's because I was doing that, and they weren't 100% dry. But now you've you so, ruined the, the top coat gloss. It's got blue in it. Well, we'll just make sure we paint something blue. We mess blue. up, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. Robin, we know you're listening. That's right. This one's for you. You know, kids never learn from watching their parents. Or listening to their parents, watching their parents, yes, but watching to their parents, no. Yeah. So do as I do, do as I say, so not as, as, as I do. As I do. <laughs> Look, we can be used as examples, I'm often a bad example, right? Look at them, that's but what an we're example not nonetheless. Do. Yep. Faux show. Faux show. All right, this little guy. And this stem is still wet. And this um, is... It just doesn't dry very fast on plastic. Dixie Belle. So this has a top coat built in. So Can I ask what it is about the top of that thing you just didn't like the first time around? Oh, I didn't even get around to the other side there. What, what's the what? Yeah, right there. Where you I know. I, was just, I literally left. just noticed that. <laughs> so. what, what is it about that? Oh, that get it. Maybe I was going to paint that part pink or something. You don't know. I don't know. That's why I asked the question. Or I just completely freaking missed it. And y'all didn't say anything? Y'all are being quiet, or is Sue just not telling us what you're talking about? Are y'all talking behind our backs? No, they're talking about us to our faces. We just don't know it. We just don't know it. Because we I'm can't see. it from you. We can't see nothing. Alright, there we go. There you go, Miss Sue. Thank you. You're welcome. It's driving me crazy. That would have driven me nuts too. Did you see it the whole time prior to just now? And you just thought I left it like that just to be random? Yes. I'm going to start doing that from now. I'm purposely leaving crap on pants and make I try not to be a complete but in <laughs> But yeah, I am a That was a blatant student. miss on my part. All right, I'm bored with you. I'm just over here twitching. <laughs> That's another tail. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to be stressed. All right. Cute, bright. What do you need? Nothing, I just couldn't okay. remember. I'm at looking at a I'm looking at a sea of paintbrushes, wondering yes, which there. one am I actually using They're right now? Basically, all yours over there. Which one am I using? Let's not my, do this again the wrong way. Keep my grayness to myself over here. Okay. Wow. Do we know what we're doing for Fab Furniture Friday yet? Have you seen so what the guys just brought in? I mean, I tagged it all. Probably something over there. <gasps> we could do chairs. We could do Ooh. chairs. Yeah, they're going to be so excited to watch us I paint think, chairs. I think that would be a very I'm really good trying to get out of these chairs, people. Can you tell? How, how to get around the rungs of chairs and how to... I, I think that would be very educational. It takes a lot of swearing, 80s music, and that's about it. We could, we could try that. No, I'm totally trying to get out of paint 
wrappers. <laughs> a lot of uh, eight wrappers. A lot of lip syncing. Yes. Total eclipse of the heart. Yes. Anything like that helps. You gotta put yourself in the mode, in the zone. Um, so honestly, I don't know. There's a bunch of cool pieces back there, though. We can pick something from there and yeah. roll with it. Is there anything you guys would like to see painted? A desk or a dresser, a uh, console type piece? What about a certain technique? Maybe you don't yeah. know how yeah, to Yeah, that's what I keep thinking is like, what yeah. kind of technique do you want to learn? You know, do we do some raised stencils? Mm -hmm. Something I don't know. See, I don't know if a raised stencil is good for a live or if that's got to be a. She can't really if, see it. Well, I mean, like, because you, you need it to dry before uh, you can paint over it or anything. Oh, that's true. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like that's a recorded one just because you don't want to force dry something like that either. Yeah, it won't. It's not going to force dry well yeah. for sure. We've got a lot of good ideas for recorded ones. We just don't have time for them. Yeah. Right now. And yeah, if we, I mean, a lot of the stuff that we do on the live, we kind of force some things to get them in you know for time's sake but and it's worked for the most part but you know some but we're also just, pushing out product for our customers that we don't want to yeah these are the things that we want them to be we don't want to mess up so you don't have to we just don't want to mess up those right, have to right, be right. spot on so we'll find something we always do well, there's lots of things to choose from it's just like mm -hmm. what do we do to make it more interesting than just watching paint dry yeah exactly and for y'all the repeat offenders that keep coming back and watching us to watch paint dry we love you we love you <laughs> we wonder what your mental state is but yes. we love you i mean i'm We're bored with me yeah. hi 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 welcome welcome i'm like bored with us halfway through so i can't imagine what everybody else thinks no it's all good it's all good you were just in here she Wait. was just in here who was it oh nice Proceeded. thank you oh well, girl. Did I see you? I don't even know. I don't know. Did you you should me? have said hello to everybody. We could have stayed to be a live audience. Could have been a live studio audience member. We yeah. could put you to work to paint some chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that wants to paint chairs, come on in. I'll show you how to do one. And chair then painting class. Come on so in. How many chairs are there? Like right. 12. We need 11 free, people. Free painting class. 11 volunteers. We'll bring the piece. You don't get to take it home. But nope. we'll learn how to paint. Yes. For free. And we'll, you can have a selfie with it. And take a picture and then I'll say thank you. And I like that idea. <laughs> right? Me a selfie wall, that's like Heather's idea was. So you can take a picture, tag rave, and leave my chairs here so that I don't have to do them. Well, they make those those selfie mirrors or whatever, the the the, the mirrors that mirrors. It's a mirror that's also a camera. Okay. And um, you can get your picture taken with the mirror. Like you stand and pose in front of the mirror. Okay. And then it takes your picture, and then you can share that picture on social media. Oh. From the mirror. Well, that's cool. We need one of those. Okay. Do we? Oh, boss lady. Why don't you get on that? That'd be yeah. wonderful. <laughs> so, do we? Do we? Do we? <laughs> May I please borrow the hot gun? No. We're not. They're so sassy today. I am. We've been sassy all week. Where have you been? That's true. Who am I lying to? That's true. I've been in a mood all week. I just gotta get out of this. The last five days have been very difficult for us. Yeah. I'm just going with the flow. And if anybody's wondering why, just go back through current events and do right. some math. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is true. We try not to discuss those things on the show. Yep. And I don't do them at all. I mean, you know me. I'm Our just... current events are all furniture and pumpkins. That's right. My current event is trying to dry this pretty little gray vase and see about pulling a little distress through. Look at your little They're I so cute. Oh, no. Uh, girl, you're, you're just a hot mess today. Seriously. You're just, you're, 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 <laughs> I don't even know what to do with you right now. I don't know what to do with you. Oh, I'd say send me home, except for I have to go look at a house and then pick and pack everything for it. Send you to somebody else's house. Not everything, just most of it. No, 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 because no. all got put away, apparently. All of it? Well, uh -huh. I mean, I don't know what got put away and what didn't, so if I don't know Johnny what got knows. put away. Johnny knows what goes in each room. 
Yeah. If I don't know what's all was going, how am I gonna know what I have to pick? So I just gotta start over. Oh, I like your little. This has Foley on the end. Miss Sue, have you researched the Foley rolling pin? I did that really quick. Miss Sue is our researcher. F O L E Y. She always looks up information about cool stuff they find. And I don't have an assistant tomorrow either, so. Uh. Is it a big space? I don't, I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm hoping it's not. Oh, God. Do you know the square footage? No. Brave soul. I'm, I'm hoping it's not like a 4,500 square foot house yeah. that I have to do by myself. Yeah. I'm theorizing that it's not. Okay. But right now that's all theoretical. Boy. Yes, I know I have a bad soda habit. Stop, stop yelling at me about it, okay? Who's yelling at you? They who, are. Who do I have to beat up? Look, 1950s. Girl. 1950s? Cool. All right. Where are we on time? We are We are at five minutes till. Okay. I mean, these are going to be just simply distressed and probably ready to roll. They're yeah, really I'm just going to let these dry and I don't know. I'm going to... I just feel like you guys seem uninspired today. No, I'm not uninspired. No, it's, I mean, honestly, this is helpful because these are things that have been, well, these two are new, but like these things with the little tassels and the pumpkins have been on our small shelf for a little while. So yeah, and Anna's actually been asking for some lighter and more holiday. Oh, I just, oh, I just, yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Are you afraid it's of crackly? These are the plastic ones. That's what's happening. It's melting and bubbling, and then when you put the heat away, then it stops and leaves it all. Oh Lord, she's gonna sit there and like make alien. alien. Bumpy. It totally looks like a. Don't touch Oh, fire. is it a pain in the butt to move when she does this? Over there. It's too cold. I'm stealing the hot gum back. Give it a more. Can you see? It's like, it's like all bumpy. I'm gonna turn the light down so you can. Hot. Can you see all the little bumps? I love the bumps. Just makes them. They're so fun. Unusual, which we love. And then like, and then like I did it on this one too. This was the first one. And can you see all the little like lumpy bumpies? Who doesn't love a lumpy bumpy pumpkin? I love a lumpy bump. Lump. Mm. She lumpy can't lumpy say it. I love it. She can't say it. I can't say it, but I know. Oh yes, I love it. Love it. And you just put a few of those in a little container on a table or in a basket. Oh, we still got to figure out something Let's to do with some baskets. What? She's the nurse that came oh, in. Oh, you? oh, you're the one who yeah, got all the DIY. And got all the, the DIY and then our air and her night was down. <laughs> the and... very, very patient one. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, I did not realize. Not all the pumpkins are plastic, is that correct? That is correct. No, two are paper mache. This one and this one are paper mache. Yes. So those won't, those won't get bumpy. bumpy those, bumpy. oh, and these are, and these are resin. Those are resin. So, yeah. yep. so they are not going to do anything. But these plastic ones, we got another plastic one here, shall we? I think we shall. Oh, she's totally gonna bumpy lumpy them. I'm just pulling a little bit of distress through these. Very little, because I purposely dried this paint like completely so I wouldn't have it rub off. Well, anybody, I want you to send us some pictures of your projects when you're finished. Yeah. Nice project pictures. Well, we always love that. I love to see what other people do. Yep. Yeah. We like to steal ideas. I mean, we like to <laughs> emulate ideas. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one's not lumpy bumping as much. So. But it's like it's crackly kind of. Yeah, it's bit. already crackly. So I think it just doesn't, yeah, doesn't have the... The same surface. This one might be more styrofoam than plastic. Oh, that's right. Huh? This right. You just gotta be careful. You don't want to get really confused. Yeah. There's um monster. What is it? Monster something? Something monster on YouTube. And I'm totally gonna put that in the comments. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
with a heat gun, he then melts the saran wrap on to the plastic pumpkin and the plastic pumpkin starts shriveling up. And then he paints it all and it looks like, and then he like dry brushes like moss and whatever uh -huh. on it. And it looks like a jack-o'-lantern that has been drying on your porch for like three months. The ones that you forget are there and you try and pick up like right before Christmas. This yeah. guy is so good with his Halloween decorations. That's amazing. He, he's like a so Hollywood fabulous. special effects guy. That's cool. And he just cool. takes dollar store items and he just gets them so incredibly neat. What, what's the name again? It's like Monster somebody or other. Somebody Monster. Totally I'll have to look it up and post it on our Facebook page later today. Okay. I'll post that DIY video on our page later today. Um, he really is good. But I totally want to do that because I, like, I don't... John loves carving pumpkins for mm -hmm. Halloween. I hate them. They're just a mess. To and what I fun. hate, uh huh? They're so messy to me. Like I, I just, I. There's nothing I enjoy about the carving of holiday pumpkins. My right? squirrel is like the inside. Come on now. But I feel like, I feel like that if you could have like sort of that gnarly coolness, and it would last year after year because it's fake. And like I don't generally like fake pumpkins either because like they just look like they're fake pumpkins right you know what i mean like i my favorite holiday uh fall decoration is just like a bunch of pumpkins not carved in a vessel with some greenery or something yeah just natural organic looking yeah like to me that's that's what i enjoy you know right. go run out and get those little mini pumpkins for the, for the centerpiece table uh -huh. yeah like i like those things uh -huh. and then after thanksgiving i'm allowed to throw them out for all this well <laughs> yes, and i'm totally fine with that but john always likes to have the carved pumpkin but right. now that we don't really have little kids around yeah i'm not carving all those pumpkins yeah we just make a big and mess. just so you know receive says thanks for all the help no worries oh, any yes. old time but i do have a stack of three of those pumpkins. like it's like a it's like a stack of three. It's not like three that's stacked up. It's like, it feels, oh, like, like the, it's like tall. Like a totem pole of pumpkins. Kind yeah, of. Mm -hmm. like that, that I picked up at an estate sale. Like I was buying a bunch of stuff and they threw that in. Aww. And again, it's ugly, you know, but I wonder if I could do it with that something I already have and, mm -hmm. and create that with a big stack of them. They'd probably start to, they, they they might probably start to over fall a over a little bit. That could be cool that too. That could be really neat. Uh -huh. So I might so, have to. Especially if it was something that was kind of thrown in, you didn't pay in for it. It'd be something fun to try like that. I feel like there's a trip to storage in my future. I think it's in the garage. I'm almost positive it's in the garage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost positive it's in the garage. I need some heat. I'm having a hard time telling what's, I never use gloss. So I'm having a little bit of a hard time telling what's. Oh, that's true. Out. That's like, yeah. Whether it's, it's wet, or... whether it's wet or it's just glossy, because yeah. you know it's like gloss. I do think I'm gonna add some antiquing wax on it. That's what yes. I was thinking. Oh, um, give me the antiquing gel, actually. I think. Which it might be right on top, Sue Ann. To your right. To your right on top. Glaze right there. Is that glaze that was just in your hand? Yep. <laughs> I wouldn't need two little piggies over there. They need something. Right? I, need I need dark a, wax. And I need some paper towels or a bag. Oh my gosh. Paper towels? I got paper towels. Actually, I need a, I need a sponge. So cute. I know. We are needy around here, but fortunately, Miss Sue loves us. Thank you, Miss Sue. That's perfect. Well, well she lives with me. She doesn't have it? a choice for me. Because that's um, only like a couple paper towels. Um, you know what I do need? Oh, do you need, need a sponge? I need a, um, just a wax brush. Wax brush. Yes, please. So I'm just adding some of the Java glaze over my pumpkin, which looks scary at first. Which looks scary at first. It does look scary. Maybe that's what I need for Halloween. It's scary. Right? <laughs> right? Um, I'm just gonna kind of give it a little bit of a coat, and especially because I've already top coated with a, gla a glossy coat, uh -huh. uh, it's definitely gonna wipe down yeah. off. But if not, I have my spray bottle here of water. Yeah, that's, good. that's perfect, thank you. Actually, I might just see what it looks like if I spray it off. No, that's not working. Okay, I thought maybe. I thought it was a possibility. So I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna 
I'm gonna start um, sort of dabbing. I don't really wanna drag it. I just wanna sort of dab it and it'll stick. It'll uh, kind of stick <laughs> to places. Even, even Nicole and Gaffney's having internet problems. Well, welcome for the few moments that you have internet. What's up with the internet today? The podcast is, I don't know the if Chinese are mad at us about the whole TikTok thing. <laughs> Hey, somebody told me TikTok was permanent now. That's what I heard. Oracle and, and Walmart bought it. I don't know how that worked, but you know. Anyway, she's really loving your fall pumpkin. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And I'm gonna dark wax this, but I'm putting some clear wax on first. It's just gonna make the dark wax easier to move around so it doesn't kind of blob so on me. Do I need me. to get you some clear or do you have it? I just grabbed the beeswax actually, the Fusion. Um, beeswax, which is kind of my favorite go-to clear wax, frankly. Like these were perfectly pristine little pumpkins, and um, I would think you were sick. And something that's just not you. my jam. To yeah. I would think you were sick. I feel better now. Is that better? Is it? I mean, I feel nice. They're so cool, and they're more fally even, but yet still with the blue. Very nice. I don't know. I just and you know it's. You can wax or you can use the glaze. Like, I feel like the glaze is a little faster than the waxing. Um, but what move, like, I always get nervous with glaze. I always feel like it, like, for me, wax tends to move better. Is that not the case? It is or? the case. It does move better. Um, glaze is kind of there or it's not there. Okay. Um, but you can use water to lift it if it's not the glaze. Okay. okay. And I think really, you know, it's like anything else. You just have to play with it. You mm -hmm. just kind of have to figure out what, like what methods work for you. And there are times that I prefer glaze and there are times that I prefer wax. Right. Um, I think glaze is ideal when you want a rubbed back look. Okay. You know, like when you want it in the divots, but you don't want it necessarily everywhere. Does that make sense? Yeah kind of highlights the high and low spots. Like, like this is a good example on, like, I mean, I'll go. This is one of the ones I made bumpy. And now you can like really see sort of all the little bumpies that I created by using the heat gun. Uh -huh. um, and it just, I don't know. Again, you know me, I like, I prefer my rustic than I do like the bumpies, the being able to see the little yeah. bumpies. I, I, I want to do the pristine, like I like it when I see it on other people's stuff. Right. But when I'm doing it myself, it just doesn't feel like it's done yet. I don't, I have like a block there. I don't know what it is. It's sort of like French chip nails. Yeah. We're kind of impressed. I, I love French chip nails or decorated on nails else. on uh -huh. somebody uh -huh. else. Uh -huh. Every single time I've gotten them done on myself, I've been like, oh, I hate that. Can we just like paint them a whole color? Can you please finish what you started? All right, here's this little guy. Let's get up close for the detail. Oh, fun, sorry about the lighting. Where are we at? See, a little bit of dark wax. That was the inside. Just a little detail. Cute, cute. Ooh, love the patina, love the bumpies, says the And see, like on these that, um, I think too, like if you have a pumpkin, like if you got real pumpkins, rarely are they super, super clean, like. And that's true too. You know, they always have a little bit of dirt from the soil and whatnot on them, right? A little bit of moss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could use a green for this too, and that would be great. Yep. Um, there's some nice, pretty green. Ooh, you want me to find you a green one? Um, we'll just keep it so this is all. All right, we've done some patinas too. Super green. Um, and again, I keep a mister bottle handy. I don't want anything wet, but I'm wiping this back, so I also don't want it totally to stick either. Right. Um, I want, like, I want some of it to stick, but I don't want it to be hard to get off. And if it starts to, if it dries too much on you, you just wet it again. Now, if you let it dry, it's not coming up again. Yeah. Exactly. But if you're working with it and it starts to dry out a little bit in an area, you can just squirt it with some water and it'll lift right back up. 
These feel so much more meaningful. Yeah, they do. Wow. Well, well, that one collapsed. Okay. Well, buddy. Here, let me fix you. There we go. Fix for me, I think. I feel like they're just, you know, they're more stamped with your style. I really do stick my tongue out a lot. I've noticed that when editing our videos. Really? <laughs> I've noticed it's just looking at our videos, that which I don't do that very much because I uh, just don't want to look at me. But I always feel like I'm, I, I do things really fast. Like I talk fast, I walk fast until the end of the day and then I can't move. But I feel like I do this stuff fast. It's like I'm watching myself on fast forward. I need to learn to slow down, but that's a lifelong habit and I don't know if I'm gonna ever stop that. But yeah, I know I just take my tongue out a lot, like, hmm. focus, concentration. Like Michael Jordan when he was concentrating on making me the shot. Did he stick his tongue out? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that all the time. I was unaware, but yeah, like you're just focused and you're just kind of thinking and you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, John asked, John asked me, he's like, is it the same like face that you you do when you make when you put your mascara on? Like, no, that's completely no, that's a different face. Mouth open, eye open. Yeah, that's like a whole different process. No, that's a different face I make, baby. Go. Face for every occasion. That's right. right. Are you going to add a little something to the I handle? love the color of this. Yeah, yeah it's just neat. That's fabulous. A glaze would actually be really uh -huh. pretty on there because it would pull out all that detail. Yeah. I'm not quite dry, but... Yeah. People are laughing at your mascara faces. Well, probably if you just tuned in and that's all you saw. We're sorry. They're all laughing because they know they make that same thing. That's right. It's funny because it's true. Try and put your mascara on with your mouth shut. You can't. It's not I challenge you. I don't know what you're laughing at. You try it. You can't. And try and sneeze. And try and sneeze with your eyes open. Don't actually do that. You'll, you might die. You'll probably lose your eyeballs. You might. Yeah. You, don't do that. that. That's not... I'm not, I'm not endorsing that statement. Also, let me tell you that if you have a bad canker sore, because I get them all the time, when you sneeze, it's not fun. Ow. I've had to, I've had to make, sh I've had to be in the habit the last few weeks because like, I, you know, when I had that issue where I couldn't talk for a little while, I've had to have the, I've had to train myself where every time I sneezed, I had to be sure that I was sneezing with my mouth open. Uh, or I would bite the tip of my uh, tongue ouch. because my tongue was all swollen. It's really hard to sneeze with your mouth open. Well, without and getting sounds, everything everywhere. I and it sounds really funny. Disgusting. <laughs> Which is another reason why I stayed home. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because it was like allergy season, you know? Like all the pollen uh -huh. and crap in Florida that gets really bad. I've never had allergies until I got older. And people laugh. That's what people say. But like, like, I've never had allergies ever. My sister always has. But I feel like as you get older, and plus Florida doesn't help with that, I don't think. No, it yes. doesn't. And we're at our house, we have a lot of trees. Right. Too. So there's like just a lot of flora, you know? Yeah. Like, easy stuff. You walk out and that. everything's yellow. All pollen y. I'm kind of misting this with some water, too, just to help it move a little bit. Because I, I just really want it mostly in the ridges and stuff. And this is very crackly looking. Mm -hmm. um, the pumpkin is just kind of was that way. And I really want the glaze to accentuate crackly. And that was the resin one? This No, this one's like a styrofoam one. Oh, okay. The resin ones are the little tiny the little ones. The mm -hmm. okay. I'm just going to turn that super cute. Those arms will be, that, especially that the fluted one, mm -hmm. the, the one on the right. Mm -hmm. Um, that one would be really great with a pumpkin sitting on top of it. Yes, it would. Anna, you hear that? What's that? <laughs> we got pumpkin places yeah, we, for we, you. Let me finish my pumpkin and... You don't want me to put that one on there? No. Oh, you can try. I might do it. I feel like it might be big. Right? Yeah. Kind of get the gist. Oh, I'm cute. Too big? You know, it's... Actually, it's not that it's too big, it's that it's too round. It kind of needs a squatty. Mm, the squatty like one, the yeah. squatty. Mm -hmm. the squatty. Okay. The squatty potty. 
Right. Paige has a squatty potty. Squatty potty. My daughter. My oldest daughter has a squatty potty. I've heard great things about this. Huh? I've heard great things about this. She, she says it's amazing. <laughs> and I don't know what it is with that particular child, but that particular child loves potty talk. God. She loves to send me selfies on the potty. Oh my God. She's a lot of girl. I mean, you can't see anything. Right. Mm -hmm. You just know it's the bathroom. And then she's cracking up hysterically because she's sending her mother pictures of her on the potty. On the potty. My children, what am I going to do? Uh, can't do anything. One more pumpkin left. One little pumpkin left. One little pumpkin. One little pumpkin left. I'm just getting this a little bit smooth. Ready for glazer. I actually use my, since it's really big, I'm going to use my, my white and kind of mix it with the glazers and just sort of see how that goes. It does, it does seem to blend really nice. And that's the one that you have a little blue in. Yeah. Trying to cover up that blue, are you? I don't like that. <coughs> one, it's a very pretty color. Yeah, we'll make a dizzy one. <laughs> These are the things you don't see behind the camera. Um, if you only knew, if you half only of the knew stuff. what happens here. You gotta keep you guys entertained. You're keeping me entertained. Keeping yourself entertained over there. Yeah, entertaining <laughs> each other. All right, what are you gonna do with this? So animals? when you just see us laugh out loud randomly, I'm she'll probably, laugh. you know, fit the dust on her. Probably sponge you. Here be fresh. Cross. You wonder what happens in the background. There might be a swear word or two, but I usually sue down. Swear. I repeat, sue so. down. Sue down. Crash card. Just using a little bit of water to. It was just getting a little, a little muddier than I wanted, so I'm using some water to wipe it down a little bit. Super thin it out. That's Get some of these little dark patches. Right. I like it. He's cute. I think he's a little bigger one, but yeah. But the cool. idea of the squatty, I like. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's squatty. He's a little bigger one, but. Mm -hmm. You know your big flat green one sold while we were on the air. I didn't know that. Uh uh uh. That would have been a cute one on there. That would have been a perfect one. Oh. What are you guys thinking of everything here? <coughs> I'm just going to clear wax for now because I'm going to either glaze or... <laughs> I think that little medium-sized one would be better. Put pumpkins yeah, on everything, just like hot sauce. Yeah, that's right. Put those pumpkins on everything. Pumpkin spice it up. That's right. Pumpkin spice it up. 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 Pumpkin spice <laughs> okay, poll. Comment below. <laughs> this is very important. This is very important. It's key, exactly. Is it Cool Whip or is it whipped cream on your pumpkin pie? Anybody who says Cool Whip is a fool. I like. Cool I whip. love Cool Whip. Sue prefers whipped cream. I not only do I love, love them both. I, they're both good. I'll eat them either way. If you serve me pumpkin pie, I don't care what you put on it. However, when I'm buying it for myself, I buy Cool Whip and I buy her whipped cream. She likes the, the psh, what is uh -huh. the, like, the whipped cream on there. The, uh -huh. whatever, the, whip, the whip one. Uh -huh. Ready Whip. Ready Whip. Um, that's her preference. My preference is Cool Whip, but it's not just Cool Whip. It is equal parts Cool Whip to pie. Oh, of course. Of I mean, course. Oh, duh, that goes well I mean, it. not a, <laughs> like, John will serve I'm me a piece of Cool Whip and a side of pie. John will serve me a, slice of pie um 
He's like, what it's a like cute when you get you some, and it's like it's like he learned it from like going to the restaurants where they have like that little tiny flower <laughs> one. <laughs> you know, it's like a piece of hard candy on it. It's no, a joke is what it is. I need you to get like a giant serving spoon, scoop it out, and plop it on there. I don't so want to see the top of the pie. Exactly. I want to be able to smoosh that down and cover my whole pie. I just I and I want it to be like now. as thick as the pie. I want it to be like. Mm, that. All right, Nicole says whipped cream. Yay! <laughs> I would like a piece of pumpkin pie with a cool whip layer and then the sprayed ready whip, ready whip on top. Oh, okay, come on! Now, now I haven't had both. Don't knock it till you've tried it. I'm. It's different consistencies, different sweetness. I'm believing that might have to happen this year. Yeah, I feel like it's a thing. I feel like it's a thing, and mm -hmm. I also love Anna. my preferred. I don't eat pumpkin anything, and, <laughs> and I don't eat whipped cream anything. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. You just want anybody in the store? Jeez. No. Me, mainly because of lactose allergies. Uh, all right, allergies. fine. Yeah, we'll give it out. What is your go-to Thanksgiving pie? Apple or pecan or? I would say um, apple because I have my grandmother's Amish recipe. Mm -hmm. And then the chocolate pie. Yeah, like a, oh, like a, um, like a, a chocolate store. meringue pie. More like the yeah the whipped the oh, silk okay a silk like a, like okay a, yeah because my I my grandfather pie. always liked a chocolate pot like a like a chocolate pie with um with meringue on top. That was I've his. never heard of maple oh, whipped cream. Oh, that cream? sounds no, but it sounds like something I need in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Is there oh. a recipe for this? <laughs> yeah. If you have a recipe, drop it below. We yeah. Want, we inquiring up. minds want to know more about this. That just made my mouth water. That could be like, really good. Now, I will cakes. say one of my favorite things. Ooh, it, yeah, but it would or be French toast. Uh -huh. um, one of my favorite. Oh, yes. One of my favorite things is pecan pie a la mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like pecan pie should have a scoop yeah, should, It should be warm. It should be warm pecan nice pie nice. with a nice, like the Briars French or the Briars natural <laughs> vanilla with the vanilla beans in it. Uh, so freaking delicious. All right, we gotta go. I gotta get some pie. You know what's really delicious? Oh mm. no, what is so she we adding on? The first time those are pancakes and syrup that are downstairs. Oh, oh wait, yeah, we segue pictures. back to selling stuff. Yeah. <laughs> wait, we have now what we're you know here for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we we do sell, um, and I think it's on the website. We do sell bourbon. Um, bourbon maple bourbon syrup. Maple syrup. There's, yeah. all different. there's all different. Yeah, there's, it's, like, it's like and a sample. It reminded me because there's a pecan maple and a blueberry mm -hmm. and a salted caramel, but the pancake mix is awesome too. Yeah, yeah and maybe. those pancake mix. And this should all be on rayhomecollection.com, mm -hmm. but I have heard really good things about the bourbon maple syrup. Uh, now, I don't like bourbon. I don't like bourbon. I do. So I don't, that's and I, so I, I don't jam. like anything that's like, yeah. like Jack Daniels flavored anything or any of that. Yeah. But um, I have heard really good things about that. But I bet the, I bet the salted caramel um, It actually does not taste like ridiculous. bourbon because I got the sample pack. Okay. What it is is it's made in bourbon. Oh, bourbon it's made barrel. in bourbon, bourbon barrels. barrels. Oh. So it's made in bourbon barrels. It does not taste like bourbon. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll have to try that then. And I do love a good blueberry syrup. Oh, my God. Doesn't love a good blueberry syrup. Okay, so this is not the Food Network. So I'm drooling over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have lunch in the back because I didn't get a chance to eat before we went live. So I'm going to go grab that, even though it doesn't sound nearly as delicious as Crap, anything we've been eating. I had a couple of hard-boiled eggs. I'd much rather have some pie. Yeah, so totally. So thank you so much for joining us. Yes. If you love DIY, be sure to subscribe. If you are finding us on YouTube, thank you so much. And um, here at Facebook, of course, we love all of you guys. Thanks for joining yes. in to us. We appreciate the support more than you know. Keep on coming and seeing us. And Friday is our Fab Furniture Friday, so stay tuned. Melissa will show you how to paint 12 chairs white. Okay, no, gotta I go. Bye. I gotta go see you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Peace out.